guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna do August favorites. Mm -mm. July's favorites. No, we're in August. July, we are. Yep. So, yes. we are doing August monthly August favorites. August monthly favorites, not, not July. <laughs> September 1st is right around the corner, guys. All right. So, to get started, Molly wants to get started. Yes. This is his favorites. Everybody knows he likes yogurts. Now, he likes the Danimal Smoothie Yogurts. They are organic, you can buy these at Costco, they're awesome. Wally knows exactly how to open them and how to get one. He's gonna show you right now. Mmm, he's so excited. Oh, it's a good, oh, you missed some. Good boy. Look at it, it's got monkeys on the front. You wanna double fist it? See, it's got monkey on the front. Isn't that cute? Probably knows how to open these, so it's super fast. Is it different monkeys on different models? Well, I think so. This one's got a suit on, and I think the one that Molly has has an astronaut on it. Oh, these are the same though. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever, they do have different ones. Mmm, <laughs> he's double fisting. Good job there. One of the Myrtle Beach Safari staff monthly favorites are these awesome shoes. All of us have gotten a pair of these. Um, they're kind of like the China's red shoes that she got, or she showed us last month. Um, of course, they are fabulous and covered in animal print. And they're actually super comfortable and yes, circa 1990s called and they want their shoes back, but we're back. Fashion always comes back. Ooh. So these are Fila's. They are coming out with new stuff again and not just people wear them. I mean, well, China's kind of old, but it's okay. What? <laughs> oh, wait. By the way, I had a birthday. I was like, did you just have a birthday? I did have a birthday. What did you get? I got this incredible blanket, but uh, <laughs> Bali thinks it's his. TV series, which is on the Disney Plus channel, has a Baby Yoda in it. It's great, we watched it with Volley. So now Volley thinks that this blanket is his. Even though I got it for a birthday present from Nick. And it says, protect which China does, attack which China does. <laughs> Snack, which Volley does, and nap, which we all do. Tara also seems to love this blanket. Tara, do you love it? Yes, it does find its very, way in her very blanket. soft. Tara's other favorite is this new chew toy she got, which is BPA silicone, safe for children, made by Bambido, which is a great little children's product that is all about creating great stuff for babies. You should check it out. She's been checking it out for the month. For my birthday, like, I don't even know how long ago. <laughs> got these sent to me from my mom, um, and finally I got both match matching dishes. Um, they are from Lily's. International market. Um, there are a few in Arizona, and they're just super cute, and they're perfect size for eating rice with my chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but I Can just you use chopsticks. No, I like to pretend I use chopsticks. Okay. I like to pretend, um, but they're just a super cute design. I use them all the time. They're like perfect size for little tiny foods and rice. And Yay, Lily's monkey. And of course, skincare. Here we are. This is a new mask I've been using. It's called the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. It's awesome. You put this on at the end of the night um, after you've done your routine. It's got retinol, it's got hyaluronic acid in it, and it's made of avocados. So you can actually sleep with it on. It's kind of thick because it's made from avocados. Can we put your mask on? Yeah. <laughs> it's good for fine lines, Bali. And you just put it on, you leave it on all night, and then you get up the next morning and wash your face and go about your day. Yeah. Is that good? <laughs> One of Doc Antle's monthly favorites this month is this super, super ice bath vest. Ice bath. <laughs> ice vest. So, as you know, South Carolina can get slowly warm. This goes in the freezer, and it has all these little ice things and you wear, oh, this is nice. I might need one of these. Um, he wears it during the tour to stay cool. Um, a lot of people wear it here because it's just warm and this is a nice way to cool down your whole entire circulatory system and make things more bearable in the heat. Well, you wanna try it on? Yeah. There you go. Bali likes it too. Okay. Okay. 
Let's try this on Molly. That's where your arm goes. Put your arm in there. Come on. There we go. Put your arm in the other side. Good job. Ooh, that's just nice, isn't it? Show everybody your fashion. Yeah. Okay, let's show them. Oh, nice. Look at you, all stylish. Are you feeling cool? Are you cooling down? On to the next skincare product. For those of you who go to bed and you wake up the next day and you feel like your lips are chapped, this is awesome. It's by Laniche, it's a sleeping mask. You put it on before you go to bed, you wake up, your lips feel plumper, they have more moisture, and they're not chappy. So if you're a mouth breather, you should wear this. <laughs> and I just put it on like you would a lip balm. If you can't lick it, no licking. There we go. So you can have smooth and wrinkle-free lips. Do you also need smooth and wrinkle-free lips? There you go, good job. Good. <laughs> One of my other monthly favorites is this beautiful art poster that I got from a website called Society6. I discovered it through Instagram, um, and I have bought and stuff from it now for, I don't know, three years. And it is a website that promotes self-artists so they can put their artwork out. They don't have to pay a heavy fee to have their stuff promoted. Um, this piece is specifically by an artist named Dada22. Um, very elusive name, can't find much information about them on the internet, but they do a lot of these mixed photos with people and women usually with flowers and it's all about different expressions and she does great stuff and it's become one of my favorite. I was gonna buy it for one of my family members, but she's like, that's not my style. And so I just decided <laughs> to buy it for myself. Um, I haven't framed it yet, but we're getting there. Speaking of favorites, this is Cody Antle's favorites. These are Vibram's toe shoes, water shoes. So he can actually go into the pool, hang out with the cats, and not worry about his feet getting roughed up on the bottom of the pool. Um, they feel like you're barefoot, and they look like you're barefoot. Well, you wanna try those on? You think those will fit you? I don't think they'll fit, but we will try them on anyway. Put that big toe in there. Get it on. Is it on? Mm. With one thumb. The only difference of us and chimps is that foot. Look at that foot. That is well, it. It's not the only difference, but I mean, good job. I mean, <laughs> I... <laughs> it's Taurus. <laughs> this is my new sunscreen. I love this stuff. It's made by Neutrogena. It is sensitive skin face liquid sunscreen SPF 50. You just shake it, and you squirt a little bit out of the squirter. Lolly, would you like some sunscreen? <laughs> Are you gonna put it on your face? and not in your mouth. You! Here, I'll do it for you. Oh, this is where it goes. Mmm, there we go. That's perfect. There you go. It's sunscreen protection and it feels like you just put on a moisturizer. It's great. Is it good on your makeup? Yes. Oh, oh, sits nicely on the skin and um, you can put makeup on it. It sits really nicely. One of Doc Antle's other monthly favorites is, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> That's power workout for. It's 25 pounds. Nope. Okay, it's 45 pounds. Nope. Uh, it's 30 pounds. It's 30 pounds. Yeah. And it's good for anything. You can, it's mobile. You can easily move it. You don't have to worry about heavy sides and those disc things. And um, and it's soft. And it's soft. Look. And you can. Well, no, that's not where I was going with that. But okay. <laughs> you can do overhead presses, you can do curls, you can do um, deadlifts. Okay. <laughs> and Bali can run it through the glass window. Just kidding, we're not gonna showcase that. Today. Yeah, for those of you that are not going to the gym yet and you're still working out at home, these are great. I have one myself for 25 pounds. Doc Antle's a bit bigger than I am, so he needs more weight. Somebody's gonna do a taste test. And it's just 
Amazing and great. There it is. It's full of rice and sour cream and nacho cheese sauce. And it also has Frito, hot Frito pieces in it. I don't know where they are, but they're there. Are you ready? Here you go. Mm -hmm. What you think? Listen to him talk about it. He likes it. Um, um. Can you do the high pitch? Ah, definitely chimpanzee approved. All right, there's the Frito PC. All right, here we go. <laughs> here, Molly, I'll give you another piece. <laughs> Alicia's gonna be out of commission for a month. <laughs> I'm gonna try Alicia's burrito. Oh, my part fell apart. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Want some more? You can have my rice. Taco Bell has definitely stepped their game up and made things way more easier for vegetarians. And like I said, it's fun late night junk food. Well, we inhaled that burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Taco Bell. What TV shows did you watch? Zero. Okay, I watched City on a Hill with Kevin Bacon which is in the 90s in Boston, and it's all about how Charleston had a whole code of silence and how um, it was hard for um, police detectives and ADAs to um, charge anybody with a crime because nobody would talk about it. Uh -huh. So that was really interesting. That's cool. And of course, I watched the second season of The Umbrella Academy. Oh, did Bob watch it? He did. Did he like the chimpanzee? But no spoilers. He did like the chimpanzee, he liked Pogo. Pogo is in the show, and he did talk to Pogo on the television, which is a little odd, but funny. That's funny, that's, that's funny. funny. Um, I did watch, I guess, I'm still watching Designated Survivor. Um, I'm on the third season, but the turn that it's taken this season is just bizarre, so. Ixnay on the Designated Survivor A. But actually, the second season was really good, but that's it, so that's all. Yeah. Yep. I watched two movies. I watched Project Power on Netflix, which is awesome. It stars Jamie Foxx. You guys should check it out. I don't want to give anything away, um, except the, the main story is all about how there's a pill that takes different features of different animals, and you get five minutes of ability if you use it. What? I want that. <laughs> and I watched The Rhythm Section, which stars Blake Lively and Jude Law. It's really good. It's all about how Blake Lively's um, family ends up dying and she goes on a mission to get back into who didn't. I watched Chemical Hearts on Amazon Prime and of course it was just the sappiest teenage love drama ever. But Lily Reinhardt does an amazing job. Um, young, young adults, you guys would really like it, so watch it. Because I'm also not my age. So this. Now for books! Now for books! Guess what? Guess what? I read books this month. Good job, good job, back on the book thing. Of course, let's go with the young adult theme. <laughs> I was around when Twilight came out, um, and I watched all the, read all the Twilight books. And so now, Stephanie Meyer finally released Edward's story, which is called Midnight Sun, and it was really cool to hear the perspective um, from Edward and the things Edward went and did, because obviously Twilight was written from Bella's perspective. Um, it was so good, and I really, really, really hope, Stephanie, if you watch this, please, please write <laughs> the next two books from Edward's perspective. So many of your fans would love that. Yes, 15 years later, we are still begging for it. <laughs> I did not read any young adult books. <laughs> I read a book called The One by John Mars, which is really good. It's all about how um, they came up with DNA match, and it's how there's a, a sequence in your DNA that matches perfectly to someone else, and that's the person that you're supposed to fall in love with. And it's four different stories of people finding their match and what happens to them. And then I read The Dutch House which um, is narrated by Tom Hanks, which is pretty cool. It's kind of a memoir about a boy who grew up in this house called the Dutch House and what he did and how it affected him and what he um, moved on to do as an adult. <laughs> Can we just talk no. about Tara? Tara, Tara's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I read um, His and Hers by Alice Feeney. And Alice Feeney is a great psychological thriller. Um, 
author, and his and hers was a great psychological thriller. You don't even know who the bad guy is until the very end. I also read Kevin Kwan's new book called Sex and well, Vanity. Sex and Vanity. Um, we read Kevin Kwan's other books, which was Crazy Rich, Crazy Rich Asians. Asians, which was really good and really, the imagery was fabulous and he does an amazing job describing everything and this whole other world um, within Asia and all the rich and money that none of us could ever imagine having. Um, and this was kind of a spin-off of that. It was very cute, very well done. I enjoyed it. Um, so, probably not very adult, but. Well, you read it. It so wasn't it was, adult. It, it was okay. good. It okay. just wasn't as good as the Crazy Rich Asians, because Crazy Rich right. Asians had a whole underlying story of sabotage and betrayal, and he had more, um, Singapore was so pretty. Pretty, yeah. The way that he wrote it. And then I also read a book called Circe, um, which was incredibly done, and I'm looking up the author now because I didn't plan ahead. Madeline Miller, Circe by Madeline Miller um, is all about the goddess Circe and how she got sent to an isle in... What is it called when you get sent away because you're bad? You? No, people, when they get exile. sent... Exile. Exile, yeah. Got, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> got exiled to an island and it talks about her story and it's magic and it's Greek gods and goddesses and it was really good. I highly recommend that book as well. And let's talk about my favorite Tara. Yeah. Look how big Tara has gotten in just one month. She's already got two teeth in. Look at them teepers. Let's see. Can you see your teepers? Look, let's look at those teepers. Two brand new teeth, yay! And look how big she's gotten. And she's gone from being a bump on a log to a crazy woman. She crawls all around the bed, all around the floor, talks to you every time you walk in the room. Oh, who are you? What are you doing here? She messes with Volley at night. Um, Volley's like, Tara, I'm sleeping. And Tara's like, no, you're not. And chews on his foot. I don't know if you've watched Tara's videos on Instagram, but they are hilarious together. Um, she's, she's definitely <laughs> a chimpanzee now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, this is literally my favorite. All day long, chimpanzees, pulling your hair, playing, <laughs> rolling around. I can never, ever get enough of this. Yay, monkey mayhem! I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below and tell us what your monthly favorites were. And subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, we'll, we'll see, see you in the, the next one. one. Say goodbye. Bye-bye.